Have you ever asked yourself the following questions? How do I add accurate predictive analysis to my reinforced plastic parts? How do I design these parts with confidence? How do I optimize these parts for cost and weight? Your answer is Digimat RP. Today's biggest challenge facing engineers is confidently designing parts made of composite materials. This requires taking into account the effects of the manufacturing processes like compression and injection molding. Digimat RP offers you an easy and fast way to bridge the gap between the manufacturing process and the mechanical behavior of the part. This advanced simulation approach leads to more accurate predictions and opens up new ways to optimize the design of your part. Digimat RP is an integrative solution and the analysis can be set up in four easy steps. Step one would be importing the finite element analysis model from your preferred FEA tool. Step two would be assigning the anisotropic material to the part. Step three would be transferring the fiber orientations from the injection mesh to the structural mesh. And step four would be running and post-processing the finite element analysis. And now we are going to do a quick demo of Digimat RP. We start off with step one, loading our finite element analysis model from our preferred FEA tool. Once loaded, we can see a brief model summary showing us the number and type of elements and any possible element sets. We can now move forward to step two, assigning an anisotropic material to our part. We are going to import a pre-created material model from Digimat MX, our material database module. In our MX database window, we can see a number of material models from various material suppliers, as well as generic extreme material models. These models range from linear elastic models to thermo viscoplastic models. We are going to select a generic elastoplastic model. Once selected, we will see a few material stress strain curves generated and shown in the bottom right of the screen. Step three is mapping the fiber orientations, which will dictate the effect the fibers have on the final material response. We must first load the injection mesh into Digimat RP. Once the mesh is loaded, we will see a model summary window showing us the number and type of elements in our injection model. We then need to load the fiber orientations onto this injection mesh before mapping them from our injection mesh onto our structural mesh. What we see once our fiber orientations have been loaded are scalar values that dictate the probability of finding a fiber oriented at a given angle. Finally, we must map these fiber orientations from our injection mesh onto our structural mesh. This can be done by using an automatic mapping tool available inside Digimat RP. Once the mapping has completed successfully, we will see these scalar contour plots on our structural mesh on the left. The accuracy of our mapping can be checked by doing a quick visual inspection of the different contour plots available. The fourth and final step is to run and post-process the finite element analysis. This can be done by clicking the submit button which will then generate the coupled files necessary to run the job. The stiffness and strength properties obtained from the analysis are varied along the part. This variation is illustrated in the plots where we can see two areas with varying properties. During the analysis, Digimat computes specific material properties at every integration point of the structure based on the local fiber orientation obtained from the mapping. The local microstructure of the composite directly affects the stress pattern observed inside the part and therefore the risk of failure. With the integrative Digimat RP solution, new critical areas are identified in the part that are neglected in the isotropic approach. The results then allow you to improve the design and the manufacturing process in order to optimize your design. Thus, this integrative approach 
can give you systematic answers to the important questions like, is the part producible? Where is the best performing and cheapest material that can be used in the design? Will the final design perform well in its working environment? In summary, the benefits to you are weight savings, a reduced risk of prototyping, reduced weight, reduced material usage, and an increase in product performance. Furthermore, Digimat is the industry st standard used and supported by major material suppliers, Tier 1s, and OEMs. In conclusion, we offer you a demo license with no training needed, a linear and nonlinear FEA of reinforced plastic parts with all major FEA codes taking into account the effect of the injection and compression molding process, and an extensive database of plastic properties. You can benefit from these by using the robust, fast, and easy interface of Digimat RP. Get access to high-end solutions without the underlying complexity and cost, and contact us today to receive your demo license. Thank you.